I'm here at the Bee Publica for a secret Asia tour. So this man has been around for quite a while but he's been keeping it low key for a few years now. But I'm pretty sure if I mention his name or his song, all of you will have a major throwback to your younger days. So here's how the song goes. I'm standing still, Jenny. You got me on my knees, Jenny. It's killing me. Who am I talking about? Let's find out. He's a very good singer, and of course, he's very good looking. <laughs> yep. I like everything about his music and his passion, his soul. Oh, I actually have been following the Click Five since like I was 15. So, of course, when he's here, I have to come. Hi guys, so we are here with the one and only Kyle Patrick. Thank you so much for being here with us. So, how are you? How has life been? I am doing so well. Um, like, being back in Asia, for me, uh, it's been a long time coming. Um, the last time I was here was seven and a half or eight years ago or something. Um, so the first stop we had was Manila um, and we had a show there and it was just like a reminder. I feel like I, in some ways I would kind of forgotten what it was like to be over here, um, unfortunately. But being back has just been this amazing reminder. I've seen so many fans um, that have all told me these like extremely heartwarming stories about how the Click Five uh, means a lot to them and has changed their life. And even dozens of kids were like, "Hey, I'm, I'm a musician now, or like I'm a singer now, and inspired by your voice and stuff like that." It's just like so heartwarming. I was crying in the in the meet and greet line in Manila and in Singapore. Like these kids just telling me this beautiful thing. So. That was a very long answer, um, but there's a lot to say. Yeah, there's a lot to say. First things first, we have not heard from you for a very long time. Yeah. So just tell us, what have you been up to these days? Uh, yeah, so uh, the reason why you haven't heard from me in a long time is I honestly, I just got burnt out on performing. Um, I was doing it so much with the band and also myself. Like I was doing uh, 150 shows a year. Uh, which is a lot and a lot of traveling and, and you know at a certain point it really is just like uh, taxing physically taxing emotionally taxing um, it starts to feel like a job and less like you're um, emotionally connected with the songs after you play them that, so many times you know it's just like I had this like weird mental breakdown kind of and I just had to say I need a break from that um, <clears throat> so that's the truth um, I moved into production. Like I, I, I didn't, I didn't quit music, but I just kind of stopped doing my own music. So it felt like a very natural progression for me to move into like recording. Um, so that's that's. Everyone's excited to see you. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so since you've been focusing more on producing do you ever miss being on stage so uh i didn't for a long time i was like i a lot a lot of the time i feel like i, I was like i'm done with that like i'm good um i don't need to do that anymore um but this trip has changed my mind it's like i'm i'm back i gotta i gotta do this yeah i, I, I can't i can't not do this um so like i said the show the first show we had in manila um and then we had another show in singapore and it was just like like totally recharged my batteries um, it, it was so special to interact with people in person and I'm doing these shows by myself literally just an acoustic guitar and singing and it's been this huge like sing-along concert like everyone's singing every word and it's just so heartwarming and like uh, I don't know it's it's honestly hard to explain what made you have like a change of heart for like planning all this Secret Asia tour and stuff like that? Um, well, it, it really spa uh, spawns... Spawns? What's spawns? Spawning? Uh. <laughs> it's spawning from... Well, I've never said that word. Why am I saying it right now? It's spawning from Jesse Rubin's... Uh, his... All right, I'm gonna say something gross. Never mind. What? Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Jesse Rubin. <laughs> 
and I are here. And this whole trip is based on uh, promoting his record. Um, and like I said, I produced his record and I'm co-managing him. So I was already going to be coming here to work with him um, and help promote his stuff. So it just made sense like, hey, I, I like have a history in those territories also. Um, all the places we were going, I have played countless times uh, with the Click Five or myself. Um, so it just made sense for us like, hey, why don't we like try to book a show? Um, and I hadn't been here in so long, so I didn't know what to expect. I was like kind of, uh, I've actually tried to get a show here a few times in the past in like that, those eight years, and it never worked out. Uh, like it didn't, it, something happened, fell through with the venue, like visas got screwed up, or just, just like so many complications, or it was too expensive for me to come and I just literally couldn't do it financially. Um, so finally we, we said like, hey, let's work this out. I, I took this whole new stance on social media. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, I became way more active on social media, which I've also taken a break from that. I, I would post on, on Instagram and just be like, hey, uh, to, to everybody in Asia, um, who wants to see a show and where are you based and what's your favorite venue there like that's what I said to start I like literally go in and I read every single comment and I responded to every single person um, and, and I, like again it was just so heartwarming like talking to everybody directly with like social media is so impactful it's so powerful I was staying awake for weeks like I got sick like I got, uh, it's worth it. Like no, no complaints. Like I, I but it's just the point. Like I was staying up all night with the time difference, mm -hmm. and talking to people like literally all night. Um, Instagram living a bunch and just like I, I didn't used to do that. So in so many ways, I've kind of changed. Like I'm doing a full 180 and putting myself out there again. Here I am. I'm back, baby. <laughs> That is some dedication. Nice. So, okay, last but not least, yeah. for all the people, for all the fans that have been missing you, do you have anything special to say to them? Uh, absolutely, yes. Hello, everyone in Malaysia. Um, I'm so happy to be back here. It's been way too long. I'm sorry that it's taken this long. Um, I promise you that it won't be eight years again <laughs> until I come here next. Um, I'm working on a bunch of new music. Um, I've, I've been so thankful to have you guys in my life and still listening to the Click 5 and still listening to my stuff. Um, I've been so inspired by everything you guys have said to me and I'm still processing it. I still don't really, it's hard, it's hard to uh, grasp how, how much of an impact uh, the band has had on your lives. Um, it's totally mutual. You're affecting me in a big way. Um, and I'm working on new music because of it. So thank you for recharging my batteries, my musical batteries. Um, I can't wait to get some new music out there for you guys. Look out for it. Look out for it, guys. So thank you so much again for having, uh, for spending our, your time with us. Yes. So it has been an honor to talk to you as I am also a fan of you oh, when I was a standard. <laughs> thank you so much, oh, Kyle. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Kyle Patrick and the atmosphere here at the B is amazing. It was crazy and I'm pretty sure the fans misses him very much. However, we have a list of great events coming up next week. 
First stop is the Mat Fest here in Publica. It is an arts and cultural festival featuring up to almost a thousand artists and also performers. It is happening right now until the 14th of April. So if you need more details on that, you can check out their FB page. If you like networking and also exchanging ideas, then I have an event for you. Network party hosted by Work Coworking Space will be held on the 12th of April. Details will be up on their website. French Film Festival is happening right now until the 21st of April. So if you need more details on that, you can check out gsc.com.my. And last but not least, I'm pretty sure everyone knows that our favorite redhead is coming back to town. is none other than Ed Sheeran. He is coming back here on the 13th of April and I'm pretty sure tickets are selling fast. But if you're lucky, you can get your tickets for yourself. Go on to myticket.asia to get your tickets. And that is all from me, Isha Hamid. And I hope to see you again on another Lit exclusive. Keep it lit.